Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I seriously need to leave the house in 30 minutes. So I saw this five minute date look um, on the Vogue like beauty website or Insta or God, YouTube. Her name is Emily Rakatosk. I can't pronounce that, right? So she's gorgeous. I think she's a model. If not, she should be a model. We're gonna follow her YouTube tutorial on Vogue. Um, I was super intrigued by this because she has like really bushy eyebrows and I myself have extremely bushy eyebrows. And I never try that type of like bushy eyebrow look. My eyebrows are normally like extremely like organized. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. The video is six minutes and 50 seconds long. She doesn't even prime, but like I have to prime because I have dry skin something else on this video that I want to talk about is I got my first Vox box so for those of you who do not know influencer is a website that basically sends you free makeup in return you have to go ahead and review their makeup so I got a bunch of stuff I was super excited so the brand that um, I ended up getting makeup from was Joa I believe I'm saying that right and I got a bunch of cool stuff um, I got a foundation which I was kind of impressed like hopefully this matches me it looks like it might match me um, it's called Truly Yours and I got it in the color Toffee. Got this really cool bronzer, highlighter, blush trio. Um, I got a Radiance Primer and then I got a matte liquid lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Glow Activator Radiance Primer from Joa. Sorry if my hands are dry. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a few pumps into my fingers. I hate when things are new. Okay, there we are. Ooh, that was probably way too much. I'm just going to, oh, whoa, what is this? This feels awesome. Oh, it's like an oil, but you can feel like, isn't it silicone that's supposed to like make it so your makeup doesn't um, settle in your fine lines and stuff? Like I could feel that. It feels so good. It feels so smooth. It's kind of oily though, so I don't know if it'll be the best for people with oily skin, but like I love this. Also, I'm sitting on the floor if you're wondering like where the heck am I on the floor because my life is a mess right now. Keep going. Okay, all right, so we're using our fingers. I'm gonna use the Truly Yours um, Joa Natural Finish Foundation Drop. Ooh, ooh, I haven't used one of these in a really long time. Probably not the best day to do makeup on my floor, but you know. The match actually doesn't even look that bad. Like it's kinda, kinda ashy, but I could work with it. Okay, so basically now she's gonna go in with her eyebrow gel. I'm gonna use the NYX Control Freak, and I'm going to use that to brush my eyebrows upward. Her eyebrows are way darker than mine. I wonder if she like dyes them. Okay, she's 100% not going to use any um, products on her brows. I can't live that life, okay? My brows are not that fabulous. Miss Emily, whatever your last name is. So I'm gonna use the brow definer and I'm just gonna do light strokes. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. I'm over here breaking stuff. I'm just gonna do light strokes upward. Yeah. Just a little bit of pigment. When I do my own makeup, um, finger painting. She used a cream highlighter. Um, so I'm gonna use a little bit of cream, but I do wanna go ahead and go over it using my Joa um, highlight, just so I can see how that stuff works. So I'm just gonna do it like she did. She basically went down the bridge of her nose on the side of her um, cheekbone. So the only <laughs> stick highlighter that I have is the Fenty Beauty Confetti. So I'm just gonna use that. Hopefully this works out in my favor. It's 100% like blue. I'm just gonna dip into the highlighter shade, which is this one right here that's nice yeah that that muted that purple out a lot so I look a lot more like a normal human being I like this color it's not like wow in your face if you could see it so it's like a really really natural highlight she used a cream um, blush I don't really use cream products so I'm just gonna use my Joa cream or my Joa blush this middle shade right here we need to hurry up and get on the lip products because my lips have been dry this whole video this is gorgeous I normally don't like choose blushes this deep but I think it's really pretty she said she like goes like ham on her whole face basically I don't tend to do this but you know we're trying new stuff here not looking like um, everything got blended together. 
Now she basically used a foundation brush and she's gonna use it to do her bronzer again. She's using cream, but we're not. So we're gonna dip into this bronzer shade. So if I show this to you, I'm gonna show this to you. So this is what the bronzer shade looks like and it's kind of like illuminating. To be honest, I could probably use this as a highlighter. It, it like, not that it's a bad bronzer, but it's not gonna do anything for my skin tone. My um, Black Radiance Contour Palette, as you can tell, like I use the heck out of this thing. It's one of my favorite palettes. Um, so I'm gonna just use this Sculpt shade that's right in the center, the one that I have hit pan, and I'm going to use that to bronze my face. She said that after she does her blush and all of her products, she goes back in with my mirror with concealer and she blends that into her face. So that's what we're doing. So instead of using my fingers, I am blending with a brush because I'm not about that life. So now what we're gonna do is my eye. Like I said, I'm obsessed with makeup, so I actually put this palette together. So basically she used a toffee color and she applied it straight into her crease. She put a little bit of this shadow in her lower lash line. And then she went in with a little bit of mascara. I'm just gonna use the Tarte Tardius Pro um, on my upper and lower lash line. Joa Beauty also sent me this What A Matte Matte Lipstick. That's weird. It smells super good. It has like a perfumey smell to it. We're gonna skip lip lining because I can't find one that's sharpened and I'm already running late and yeah. I'm just gonna do a few dabs. I'm just putting on the KKW number six nude on top. Just to give myself a tiny bit of color. And then as lip gloss, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Kylie um, Glamour lip gloss. Okay, so this is what my face looks like in natural lighting. So the foundation looks amazing in my opinion. Um, the brows, I actually like how she did the brows. They're kind of unruly, but like a little bit more natural. So it's like a natural glam, you know what I mean? So back to Joa Beauty. So the lipstick 100% is waterproof. So if you ever buy it, don't worry about it coming off. Um, foundation, I feel like I've talked about this foundation the entire video, it's amazing. The primer that I got with it is also amazing. I cannot wait to use this in the future. Um, my skin just looks really, really hydrated. It's not dry at all. I have no complaints for Joa Beauty as a whole. Um, and then I really just like the style of makeup from this Vogue Beauty um, like tutorial. So yeah, so overall I'm pretty pleased. I am, I am very late, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will see you next time. Peace.